this video describes the procedure to model a 3D part of the bearing in SOLIDWORKS. We also learn about generating an orthographic view from this 3D part in SOLIDWORKS. The bearing shown over here could be made by using a revolve feature uh, for which uh, we have got a base flange, a cylinder above it and four bolt holes as shown over here. When seen from the right or the top, we see the shape of the sketch that could be used for making a revolve feature. So either the top plane or the right plane could be selected to make the sketch with it, which is shown by the hatch lines and then use that to revolve around 360 degree to generate the bearing. Later the four bolt holes could be added onto the flange um, using the commands like uh, extrude cut or hole wizard and then you have uh, it could be one or four together if it's one then you use a circular pattern to generate the rest of the three or if you have put in four all together in the front plane or the front face of this flange then it, uh, it could be directly extrude cut all together at the same time let's have a look at this in solidworks we make use of solidworks 2020 version to make the 3d part for the bearing we begin with opening a new document from the standard toolbar the part file as the file type we would start with the top plane making this a sketch plane we add the sketch details to the center line passing through the origin and the shape of the sketch as seen from the top view is added uh, it is it is the reverse we have got some fillets at these corners with a radius of 0.12 this uh, unit system is inches so you need to change the units to inches this could be written as inches here 0.1 to inches and then we make a global change by changing the units here Going back into the sketch, edit sketch number 1, add the rest of the dimensions like the bore diameter, pick up the center line and the, and the solid edge and drop this dimension on the left of the center line to give a diameter for this sketch. This is 1.5. We have a, a limit dimension here, so in the properties uh, property manager for this dimension of 1.5 switch over to limit dimension and assign a deviation of minus 0 0.002 with third decimal up to third decimal value assign the rest of the dimensions with the axis here 2.76 this is 5.5 we have put the height dimensions as uh, 0.75 for the flange And the overall height as 2.12 to fully define this uh, one of the points on the bottom line is to be assigned a relation with the origin so i press ctrl key on the keyboard select 
the origin here with the two selected assign a relation of horizontal to fully define the sketch for the revolve feature going over features toolbar and clicking on revolve boss base to revolve the sketch around the axis selected here as line one about 360 degrees we add the four bolt holes by picking up the face here making it a sketch plane add a hole by sketching a circle over it the circle has a diameter of half inch so we put this as 0.5 This, uh, the four bolt holes are located on a bolt circle of diameter 4.24 so let me construct another circle here with the center of which as the origin and mark this for construction so in the property manager you can assign this while keeping the circle selected give a diameter on this as 4.24 Give another relation of coincident between the bolt hole circle center and the uh, bolt circle with the construction line. As coincident. We also have got another relation that this circle is right above the origin here as a uh, as in vertical relation so select the two points keeping the control key pressed and assign vertical relation to fully define the circular sketch extrude cut through all and then pattern this feature around to have four of these on the face so we have the option here under features toolbar we, we have got a linear pattern if you look into more options you will find circular pattern under it select the field for the direction or once it gets highlighted with a blue background you may pick up a center line about which it has to go around or a circular edge you can pick up one of these circular edges as any of these circular edges around which it could go around to generate the circular pattern or we can assign the axis by making the temporary axis visible so this is a temporary axis which so when you click on this you will be able to see the temporary axis in the middle of the board so assign this axis here as uh, the direction about which it has to go around we'll have four instances so they are all, all together four uh, bold holes and they would be equally spaced so check the radio button for equally spaced to have it uh, over 360 degree the features and faces select the field and assign the feature you can directly pick it up from the interactive screen by selecting the area inside the hole or you may expand the design tree and select the extrude cut feature to add it in here accept this We can turn off the temporary axis now. Assign any color of your choice by going over the bearing, right click, appearance, and in the color palette, select a color of your choice. This completes the making of a 3D part of the bearing and solid works.